Hello, this is Sanit here, and welcome back to another Dobutsu Sentai Juoji review. Today we take a look at Juo Wild and Cube Mogura. Now, Cubes 4, 5, and 6 were released individually, as you do see here, with 4 and 5 releasing first, and then 6 releasing later. They were also later released in a box set together of these three. Cube Mogura is designed to go with Juo Wild, which is why we're looking at him in this video, and he was only sold separately. So without further ado, let's begin. We begin with Cube Elephant, number four, belonging to Juo Elephant. And it's probably my least favorite cube animal. I think the cube mode is very solid with the number four here being very prevalent and the uh, elephant head being there and the giant feet in the back. And when you transform it, uh, it's got that neat thing and then it just kind of folds out and then sits there. It doesn't have any really distinctive legs and it has giant feet on the back so it only looks good from like that angle. And even then, I don't know. It's just, I'm not really a big fan of it. I do like how the tusks are there. But, uh... Yeah, I'm not a big fan of Cube Elephant. But, overall, it's it's, it's not horrible. It's just, out of all the cube animals, and that's currently nine I own, it's my least favorite. Here we have cube number five, Cube Tiger, belonging to Juo Tiger. Now cube five here looks really nice. I like how it is a black outline around the number. Um, really cool looking. Actually, it's honestly the most solid cube because you can't tell where any robot bits are. You only just have these two massive pegs on the side, uh, which we'll get into in a later video. But overall, really neat. Transformation is pretty cool, I think, where you pull this out, you fold out the tail, and you bring down the head. And there you have Cube Tiger, which is the white tiger. You have distinctive legs, very nice shape. I honestly think this is probably one of my favorites. Um, maybe not in the top five, but honestly looks pretty cool. Now in the show, it does have these claws that flip forward and shoot things at opponents. What's an interesting happenstance, these are all transformation connectors for other things, but uh, these actually do click into place there if you do want that. Um, so pretty cool. I leave them back, usually. Overall, really neat. Here we have cube number six, Cube Gorilla, belonging to Geo Gorilla, which is a powered up form of Geo Eagle, which is why it's also red. And it does have a big old piece over here, much like how Cube Eagle had the Big King Sword. This is the big wild cannon. Just set it off to the side for now. Cube Gorilla here is a new torso, which means it forms a new combination, Juo Wild, which we'll take a look at in a little bit here. But as you can see, honestly, I think this is the best cube mode. You can see the number clearly. It is very square. doesn't have many things sticking off. Really, really clean. Transformation is very similar to Cube Evil, except it is manual this time. So you slide these out, bring up the little gorilla face, bring up the gorilla arms, slide out with these little tabs you can slide out the arms to make them longer like this and you got a pretty convincing gorilla you also can take this piece and fold this out and now you've got a pretty convincing gorilla with a giant shoulder cannon that isn't even in frame anymore so yeah cube gorilla is packing some heat here he's got two different guns hanging out here and honestly, he looks really cool. I think that he's probably one of the best looking animal modes out of all of them. And I really don't have much else to say. He's just really cool. I do like how this piece is incorporated into the design of him. And the other torso cube coming out, Cube Condor, also incorporates the headpiece into the combination. So Geo Eagle's the only one that doesn't include its headpiece as part of its animal form. Overall, though, Cube Gorilla is really, really cool and is worth that little bit extra cost that he is because he comes with a giant cannon. Let's combine Cube Gorilla, Cube Tiger, and Cube Elephant to become Juo Wild.
Here we have a Duo Wild in its base combination of 654 or 456, whichever you want to call it. I just call it Duo Wild because Gorilla is the torso piece. Now looking at the torso more importantly, because we did look at the leg pieces already, it's really cool to see all this consistent color scheme work here, plus the arms are a little larger, which makes this look very impressive. Also, I did not point this out on Duo King, but there is this weird gap where the arms were, and then these all have this, but it kind of streamlines a little bit because of uh, the nice cannon piece being the head. And it's a very neat little head sculpt. I always love it when there's flaps over a head and then they open up like that. It's like one of my favorite design features. It also does have a gun, which is a rapid fire automatic weapon, which is pretty sweet. And overall, I really like the way that Geo Wild looks. Everything looks consistent. You have the white and black, which matches the white and black, and then you got green feet because elephant. But those match his eyes at least. Really, really cool. Now, as a neat little gimmick, and this may be a throwback because it is the 40th anniversary of Sentai, he does have a projectile. Um, the fists, when you push these little tabs on the front, actually do launch off. We're not talking like high-powered springs here. You're not going to bust down walls with these things, but the fact that that's a functionality in the show as well and on the toy is just really neat. It's little pressure-launched missiles, but it's really cool. I, I do think it's just really fun to have. Overall, I really like Duo Wild. Much like Cube Kirin, Cube Mogura, or Mole is an exclamation point. Smaller cube than the regular cubes. As you can see, the regular cubes are about that big, and these are smaller to be weapons. It is a weapon designed for Juo Wild, and it was about a thousand yen. Now, transformation is dead simple. You can see here, it turns into a little mole with a little drill on the front. Pretty neat overall, and now it's ready to combine. Now that we've taken a look at Cube Mogura, let's combine him with Juo Wild. All you gotta do is flip this out. No joke, that's it. You can flip it all the way out this way if you want, but it should flip this out so it reveals a handle. And then put it in the hand of Geo Wild. And Geo Wild can wield um, Little Mogura like a battering ram drill weapon. Honestly, out of all the weapon modes, I think this is the weakest. But hey, it's a nice little weapon. Uh, you can give him his gun back, and then he's just like packing so much heat that no one's going to stop him. And if anyone tries, he's got rocket fists. Overall, that is Juo Wild and Cube Mogura. So in conclusion, I really like Juo Wild. Um, getting them separately was cheaper than buying them in a box set with the shipping. So if you're importing in the time frame of the show still running, I would recommend getting the individual boxes for the cubes. It saved me a good $10 on shipping. Just because they could pack it in a different way. Um... The Cube Mogura, I think, is still the weakest of the Cube Weapon Animals, but it's still not that bad in the grand scheme of things. I've seen worse mecha come out of Super Sentai. And overall, I think Juo Wild is superior to Juo King, and I'll probably stick with that opinion for a while. Now, of course, this is Super Sentai, and all of these guys do combine. Yes, Kirin and Mogura are part of this. This is an intense combination and I do want to show it, but I do not want to make Juo Wild's video any longer. So we'll be taking a look at Wild Juo King in our next review, which will be coming soon. And you can look forward to that, as well as looking at Cube Kuma. So until next time, this is Sanat saying, goodbye.